Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and today is our season finale. <laughs> but if you can't tell by looking around, I'm moving my house. <laughs> and I'm hard at work as well. Oh, whatever. You just procrastinate until there's a couple days left, and then you're pissed at me because I'm ready. And there's that. Ha. Well, I did a little every day, and now I can relax before driving thousands of miles. Jesus Christ, Gorilla, are you gonna help me with this move, or do I have to do everything myself? Anyway, let's get this review started. Last week, you saw the DCTV Supergirl review from last year. And what an overpriced piece of crap that was. Right, so this week, we're taking a look at the other Supergirl figures that are out there. So Raz Holly, hit the music! It's, it's almost like he's like a noodle. Ever since doing the Supergirl review last year, I felt that there was something left undone. Recently, I was fortunate enough to find a couple more Supergirl figures at low prices. I figured, what the fuck, let's do another Supergirl review. First up is this DC Multiverse Supergirl that you may have seen with other DC figures next to the Marvel Legends in department stores like Target and Walmart. I found this one at a Barnes & Noble on clearance for around three bucks. Let's take a look. All right, here is the DC Comics Multiverse Supergirl TM TV Series Supergirl TM Collect and Connect TM New 52 Doomsday TM. Trademark, 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 trademark. But let's take a look at the package. Supergirl prominently displayed in the package here you got the the the, the picture there of um, Melissa Benoit is it Benoit or is it Benoist I don't know tell me in the comments um, you've got that there the figure is displayed nicely I do like it when they feature the figure and not all the goofy art and bullcrap they want to put on a package it says uh, DC Comics trademark multiverse probably should be a trademark on that too um, unless they they can't get the, uh, the the trademark on that also got four and up on there does come with small parts if you break it does come with a piece of doomsday from the new 52 i don't know what doomsday from the new 52 looks like oh there he is you know he doesn't look so bad um he looks like doomsday honestly um it's not so bad um, and these are pretty uh, common figures that you found. You got to collect them all. You buy all six figures for $20 a piece, and you get a Doomsday figure that you can build. Um, that's the that's the, how it works. And the Armored Batman, the Robin, the Lex Luthor figure, and the Mutant Leader were all pretty common. Uh, Supergirl, a little bit more difficult to find. And Superman, trademark doomed, um, was a little bit harder to find. On the back says the DC Comics multiverse figures are inspired by comic-based character rich entertainment sources such as movies and video games. These figures are meticulously designed to be truly authentic, celebrating the many universes of entertaining DC Comics material. Let's put entertaining in a quotation there. Anyway, you got your legal mumbo jumbo. But uh, you know, before without any further ado. Let's open this fucking thing and see what it looks like. Okay, so right away after opening it up, I noticed something really, really awesome. There's no rubber bands. There's no twist ties. The box is just designed smartly so that you can place the figure in there. It stays still in transit and can be lifted gently out without any additional tools. Thank you so much for doing this, Mattel. Uh, Big points to you, and this is already a uh, an advantage over the previous Supergirl figure. So, moving on, let's get it out. Okay, first all, you've got Doomsday's left leg and foot. Um, got some nice articulation on there. It's too bad 
that you know you know you can't really find these figures anymore unless you go online and you pay obscene amounts of money for them so this is basically useless okay and here she is out of the box and right away she looks really really good um, a vast improvement over the last figure now there is a little bit of uh, problems with some paint rubs here on the foot and she does have a little bit of a glue glob or some shit on her face but overall i can tell the posability is way better she's got shoulders she's got an elbow that swivels and bends she's got a wrist that turns she's got a waist that turns she's got a chest that moves her head is articulated the the legs are much better than on the dc tv figure they've got a swivel uh swivel there on the thigh and they move on a ball joint and you got the knee it's not a two jointed knee but it, it gets the job done for what you need you don't need her to kick herself in the ass if she can't really move her legs around in the first place you could squeeze her into a vehicle if you absolutely needed to so this figure already in, in terms of posability is way better than the last one and I just like it better. She actually doesn't have the thousand yard stare. She looks like she does on the box. It's not the greatest sculpt in the world and she does have a little bit of paint rub on her face. But that's not, you know, really the fault of the figure. And, but, you know, design wise, it's a good figure and it looks like who it's supposed to be. And it was $10 cheaper than the DC TV one. I would take this one any day of the week. Mattel continues to produce these figures in opposition to Hasbro's Marvel Legends. They both vary in quality greatly from figure to figure, so your mileage may vary. Next, I found this DC Superhero Girl Supergirl at Family Dollar. I guess the conversion rate for Family Dollars to US Dollars is 10 to 1 because this costs 10 bucks. And if it looks familiar to you, it may be because of the WWE Superstars line from two weeks ago. These figures are in the same scale and share the same visual aesthetic. Anyway, let's take a look at this version of Supergirl. Okay, and here is the DC Superhero Girls Supergirl um, from the Superhero High cartoon. And when I saw this originally in the store where I worked, um, I thought that, like, right out of the corner of my eye, I saw that and I thought, includes gape <laughs> what the fuck are they talking about but no it's cape includes cape well no shit it includes a cape i mean i can see that for one and supergirl wears a fucking cape so why wouldn't it anyway i can already tell this is gonna be something to yell about because i can see inside there's those little tags those little tag ties that they put on on uh, stuffed animals to keep the tags on there um they're on there holding her wrists down on the package so i guess they couldn't design this good enough to keep it in the box but let's open it up and see what it looks like on the back of the package you've got some uh, various uh, cover art here you've got the uh, the picture of supergirl from the tv series it's pretty cool um and you know it's got a, like a little story about supergirl saving the world from plans of supervillains isn't easy and it, it gives you a little bit of a uh, story about her it's superhero high and a little bit of a collect them all here i saw all these at toys r us when they were uh when they were in their death throes so and you could have picked them all up every single one of them but i got a couple of them okay mattel we have a problem i was gonna apologize i really i was gonna apologize i felt bad for calling you hasbro a bunch of times by mistake and that was literally a mistake i wasn't doing it to make fun of you or anything but listen up hasbro <laughs> freaking mattel look at this Look, there's little twist ties in here. You can't get the figure out. She's tied down to the box. You can't get it out. If I'm a little kid, I need access to these bad boys. And I'm going to be cutting the shit out of myself like, ah! Oh, my head! Ah, oh, Jesus! That's what's going to happen when a little kid tries to open this up. Why do you have to tie your fucking figures down to keep them in the box? All right, so here she is, out of the box, Supergirl, DC Superhero Girls Supergirl. 
and what you see is pretty much what you get with this figure. It's pretty poseable. Um, it doesn't have the chest articulation like the WWE ones did, but it is in the same scale, which is pretty cool. I wanted to get a picture of them at the same time, but unfortunately the WWE figures have been packed. So they're gone. <laughs> so they're not, I'm not gonna be able to use them right now. I am moving away. But let's take a look at her. Um, she, she has a great likeness to the cartoon. Um, her head doesn't want to move. I don't, is it glued on? I think her head's glued on. So it's not really articulated because when you move it, it comes right back to, to center. That's weird, okay. Um, got a shoulder that goes all the way around. You got a cape that fucking falls off um, that goes up and down and all around. Um, you got the elbow bend, you got the wrist uh, articulation. You got some legs that do this and that uh, and an uh, ankle that goes all the way around. Um, so it's fairly posable. You can get some good looking poses on it and stuff. The cape um, goes into a peg in the back like a G.I. Joe backpack. God, I wish I was reviewing a G.I. Joe right now. This is kind of a poor figure, honestly. Um, the, the paint job is pretty good, but let's take a look at some of these other figures. <sighs> Firstly, Batgirl. Um, right away, paint missing on the wrists, like a rub or something like that. The paint's like globbed up on the, on the other wrist. It's just, it's really poor. This, the cowl barely stays on. Um, the the big uh, feature is includes bat pack. Well, if that's part of the character fuckers, that's not like an extra fun thing you should include. It should just come with it. And I don't know. I mean, like, it's pretty posable and it looks like she does on the cartoon, but when you're holding it in your hand, it's just kind of like cheap soft plastic and again yeah the head doesn't really want to articulate I feel like I'm gonna pop it off at some point um, so yeah I also picked up um, good old Harley Quinn <sighs> includes mallet includes mallet and got the same articulation, everything like that. Um, and, and then, of course, some paint loss up here on the hair. And you know, just various, like, you know, I feel like this thing is gonna fall apart in my hands. If And the WWE figures made by the same company, made by Mattel, they were a lot better as far as quality is concerned. It's like quality control on these, like, I don't know. These are like fucking Happy Meal toys, almost. That, that is pretty much the quality of these things. And considering that they were, you know, retailing for around $12.99 or something like that, that's a friggin' rip. These things were way overpriced. Um, I got each of these for about five bucks a piece or less. Um, I got it at a couple different places, including Toys R Us when they were going out of business there so um but yeah would not recommend but i don't think that these are gonna be like if they do make more of these they're not gonna be um of the same quality or let's hope well jess <laughs> i'm all packed up and i'm ready to go how about you um i'll just be a minute gorilla just another minute God, do i have to do all this myself Huh? What was that noise? What? Hello? Hmm. Must have been the wind. Hello? Who's there? Shut up, Duke.